Near AT&T Stadium and right across the street from Globe Life Park stands the beautiful eSports Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Not only is it fairly new, being built in November of 2018, but it is the largest turnkey eSports facility in North America, as well as the site of DreamCon 2022. I'm standing right outside the eSports Stadium in Arlington, Texas, where the DreamCon 2022 convention will be held. These very steps will be flooded with fans, young and old, trying to get into the doors. DreamCon is a convention held annually since its genesis in 2018. It was created and run by none other than RDC World One. RDC is a famous YouTube channel coming from humble beginnings and with its members ranging from all over Texas, some even graduating from the University of North Texas. Their name, RDC World One, stands for Real Dreams Change the World. And that's exactly what they do here with DreamCon. Mark Phillips, the face of RDC, says that DreamCon is a place where other dreamers can come together and share their passions under one roof without fear of being ridiculed or made fun of. Everyone is welcomed here. The convention is a mud of sorts, being part cosplay, part anime, part gaming, and whatever else you may be into. Tickets sold out fast, but I was able to talk to someone who got their hands on some. Hello everyone, my name is Saul Hughes. I'm a biology major here at UNT and a Japanese minor. My excitement level is like through the roof. Like this is going to be my first DreamCon. I'm so happy that I was able to get tickets. Like there were a few drops and like they like ran out like super fast, like within minutes. Mm -hmm. So like I'm very glad that I was able to even get tickets. What is what is what is attracting to attracting you to the to the con? Because I know it's an anime convention slash gaming slash basketball slash like they have a like so much stuff there. What is the main attraction for you? Oh, that's a hard one. I'm just like really interested to see like the art, the artist alley, and like the panels, and it's like just try, just I just want to experience to see like how it really is to go. Like I'm just excited to like be able to say like. I went to DreamCon, right. like I was there, you know? I do cosplay, like I have a few cosplays that I've done like even recently. So I do enjoy cosplaying, so it'd be, so like I'm just kind of still putting together my lineup for the cosplays I want to do. Uh -huh. um, when I go to DreamCon, I'm thinking of doing like some popular like anime, like um, Demon Slayer, for example. That's so like, I'm just gonna, gonna like put together a cosplay and like, it's gonna be really fun because like other people will be cosplaying as well. Yeah. And we'll get to like take pictures together and everything. <laughs> nice. And like, I just like, I'm really looking forward to like that. I'd love to see you right here on July 15th through the 17th, but tickets were sold out before I could get mine either. If you got any extras, give me a ring. Until then. I'm Nicholas O'Geller with NCTV Nightly News, sending it back to you guys at the desk.